show, I wanted to work with John again, who is my like uh, music uh, producer for all my life events, um, the MD, as you may call it. And I really wanted to do a band. I never want to do a full band, but I want to have backing vocals and a bass player and drums and and he he's the keys guy. So I really wanted that live feel, but still with a DJ, you know, to pump the music and, and give it that balance. And so, yeah, I, I did that again. <laughs> I did that with other projects too, but this time it was different because I never had a live bass player also. And it was awesome. With, I wanted to have background singers and this time a male and female. <laughs> Melissa Fortes, she is amazing, beautiful artist, great songwriter. Check her out, please. And the other guy was Lin. His voice is so soothing, so warm. And I really wanted to work with a guy this time, you know, to have that great harmony. And it turned out to be great. They were such experienced artists that you don't have to explain a lot. We didn't have to rehearse like a lot for them to get it. So it was really nice working with professionals for, for once. And uh, not that my last show wasn't with professionals, but they are definitely seasoned when it comes to backing vocals and performing. I challenged myself again. I mean, I haven't danced in a while, but <laughs> because of the pandemic, I didn't do much shows, but I still wanted to do it big and, you know, create like a choreography. And because of my last show with uh, the One in a Billion EP, I worked with Aisha de Groot and just look at the images of the last show. One in a billion, billion. I mean, it looks great, right? So I wanted to do that again because she is such a great choreographer. And Shaniqua, dancer, I really like dancing with her. Um, so I asked her again, do you want to join my show, please, during the pandemic? And she said, yes, of course, because nobody was doing shows. So even one was, you know. But no, we have such great chemistry together and I really love dancing with them beautiful black melanin girls. I really love that empowerment on stage. Re rehearsal was a challenge because I was out of breath, out of shape, everything. <laughs> still, still have a bit, but I'm working on it. I really was excited for this project, as you heard before now. But sometimes shit is out of your control. And even if I wanted to do things perfectly or had people for like everything, life just happens. And I mean, to explain it a bit more, my manager, Jurgen, um, he, he burned out. So basically, he was not able to help me finish all the Champagne Dreams project. And a lot came down on my plate. So uh, I had to be contact person again. I had to contact everybody, emails, arrange venues, rehearsals, all those things, uh, which I, I often do a lot myself already, but um, when it comes to contact, as an artist, you want to just focus on your art and create and don't want to be busy with all the, you know, all the talks and the texts and, the, and everybody just asking you questions. So that was really exhausting and it cost me a bit, um, a bit joy of the 
to enjoy the process of the project because I had to be everywhere, you know? And that's just something I, I mean, when I look back, I just realized that I had tremendous strength because I don't know how I pulled it off, but I did it <laughs> and I'm still here. <laughs> so it proved to me that, you know, I, I, I mean, I need people, but I don't need anybody, you know, to do, to do what I want to do. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything, but um, it's not supposed to be you alone against everything. You know, I had my team besides that my manager, you know, wasn't there. I had a lot of people supporting me. And these are the times when you see like who matter the most, who are the people who are jumping to the plate? Like, okay, let me help you. Let me, let me, let me take care of this. Let me take care of that. And uh, the person that is recording me right now was a real big help at that time. And uh, yeah, so if it wasn't for those people, I probably would <laughs> wouldn't be able to finish it. So yeah, I, I really wanted to to record the show. Uh, normally, uh, Jurgen uh, takes care of those that part, um, but his uh, his friend <laughs> helped me out, and he did the recording. And I really wanted to have great images footage of the show because i had this great outfit on stephanie did it again she she had me in this beautiful um like a like a suit with with beams and everything and my hair was really beautiful by uh Daisha b she did my hair again and makeup was freaking awesome mariah is is the best uh, when it comes to flawless makeup and so I looked amazing um, but everything you know together it was a lot uh, and I really wanted to record it uh, and <laughs> like it wasn't enough already at the end we found out that one of the the cars or the cameras was not to, uh, on the entire time because of battery or whatever so it was like just my luck you know I mean, <laughs> in Dutch we say the kan er ook nog wel bij, you know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Add it, add it, add it to the pile of you know failure. <laughs> no, but seriously though, it was um, it was a rough time. I was into pieces emotionally, and um, I, I st till this day I don't know how I how I did that. To be honest. So with me, it's my faith, it's my belief, my spirit that kept me up and having the right people around you. Uh, and I know a lot of people who, you know, even Jurgen, he didn't do it on purpose. It's just life, you know, people have to take better care of themselves, set more boundaries. That's just what I take uh, out of it. And uh, yeah, sometimes you need to go through those things just to, sh just to realize what you got and where you should be going or what isn't working for you and at the end of the day i put on the show i had fun and i have some footage just not all gone <laughs> thank god so yeah but that was a tough time mm -hmm.